right, guys. In this episode, I'd like to review the butterfly knot. Um, the butterfly knot is a good way of creating a loop um, or an attachment point in the center of the rope. Um, so you don't really need the either end of the rope to do this knot. Um, the way I've always found this knot to be simplest to do, okay, is to create a series of loops in the palm of your hand, okay. And you want to create this to where you've got um, three ropes in the palm of your hand and a loose loops. Uh, kind of hanging off the back. If you do this too tight, you'll find that it's going to be a little hard to tie if they're uh, real close to the back of your part of your hand there. Okay. To tie this uh, this knot, what you're going to want to do is take one of these loops once you've created this coil, and you're going to move one rope to the other side. Then you're going to repeat that step and move the second rope to the other side, grab it, and pull it through those loops that you started out with. Okay. And to set this knot. You're actually going to set it by pulling these two ropes apart from each other, okay? And it'll create kind of a butterfly type appearance here, that, uh, hence its name. What you've now created is a loop off of the rope that you could use for an attachment point. Um, you could use this for a grab handle, you could use it for a foot loop, um, whatever you really needed it for um, off of the rope. Um, the other thing that you can do is utilize it to isolate a damaged section of the rope and get it out of a load situation. Um, so if you had a damaged portion of rope, you could use it to eliminate that damaged portion by putting that damaged portion out here. Um, I can demonstrate that real fast as to how you would actually do that. Um, I've got a piece of tape on this rope here, which we will uh, pretend is our damaged portion of the rope. Okay. Um, when I'm creating my coil across my hand here, what I'm going to want to do is put that damaged portion as my center rope within that coil. Okay. And that way, when I bring these over, so the first one goes over, second one goes over, grab it and pull through. Okay. Once again, we're going to set it by pulling these two ropes apart. Now that damaged portion is out here and no longer part of our system. Okay. So that was a way of quickly eliminating that damaged portion of rope so now uh, people's lives are not hanging on that rope. Okay.